ladies and gentlemen, this is SSFF6B, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. I really don't need to say what happened last episode other than failure, 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 and some win. Actually, mostly win. Never mind. I'm going to just continue playing the game instead of boring you with unnecessary details. Milari's Mines! So we're right there. Ting along, tong along. Ding along for for iron. Ting tong ting along. Dig down, dig around. Take the ground for iron. This mine belongs to Milari and us, his seven apprentices. Did you ting along, tong along all this way to get your sword repaired? The boss is down on the lowest level. Challenge accepted. Wait, what's in here? What's in these rooms? Alright, we'll check them on our way out. If you get outside from here, you can see the, go see the human. The mine the humans dug. But the boss doesn't let anyone go in there without permission. Green clothes and an odd hat. Sir, might you be Lung Link? Lung Link? I am Malari, the Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword, which holds the power of the elements of a harmony, first. For showing that broken pickery blade. I love all this adventure, but with the rescuing of princesses and such, I'd be happy to reforge this blade into a brand new sacred blade for you. It'll take me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements of harmony. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. It'll be a while, Link. Let's leave it to them and find that element of harmony. Nice, they're beating the, uh, sword to the music. What? You're going to the mine? If you've talked to the boss, I won't stop you, but be careful. We need to dig a hole and get bigger again. That made no sense. Hold the secret house, you grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stone almost is killing and it's another one of those marks. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. That's because we've heard that dialogue before. And now we are in our next dungeon. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element of harmony so we can get out of here. As expected, this is the recovery room, and you can just get a bunch of hearts. You can go right and up. Okay, we got the bombs in here. Oh, nice. We got perfect timing there. That was the most beautiful timing I've ever seen. And we've got spiny shell. You're still gonna make a dent in the thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. Oh, oh, I, I know what we gotta do. I'm being dumb. Again. Hey, you. That's right. Now you're dead. And we also got a big chest. Which I'm assuming is the map. Or the compass. Okay, that works too. They're both the same thing. We get six rupees. Shoot, don't eat me. For those wondering, that was a like like. Like likes eat you and can consume your shield in some cases. I don't think they can consume the tiny shield that Link uses, but probably down the road we'll probably start to be able to consume other shields. That's all I'm gonna say. I thought this was a blind LP. Oh my god. I thought this was a blind LP, Jeffrey. I thought you didn't know anything about the game. Well, I've played Zelda games before, and I do know that that works. Okay, that does not work. I'm referring to, you get probably another shield in this game. As far as I know, I could be wrong. But you never know. Okay, I'm assuming we just gotta make our way through this mine. And we have all these doors that... I'm assuming we can't break down with a simple bomb. I'm seeing these carts. Yep. This must be what the humans built to get this mine around in here, what? Maybe we should hop in. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's go. 
Oh my god. Holy... Sweet jumping jellyfish, that was awful. Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives in that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean your feet. Dude, don't get caught. Alright, I can attack it a second time. Pick it up. I could pick it up and throw it, but you know, the game feels like, Hey, you gonna pick up that bomb? Nope, it's gonna explode in your face. Maybe we'll accomplish this episode, and maybe we'll get this dungeon done in a single episode. But, assuming that it took, considering that it took most of the week, or most of the this week's episodes just to get here, something tells me we're probably going to have to stretch down to next week, unfortunately. And that's never what I like to do, because I don't like leaving you guys on a cliffhanger for more than a day. We've got another one of these mysterious Minish Portals, as well. We can just skip that, of course, and we can go in here. We can get a piece of heart in here, but as you probably expect, we cannot get it yet. Which makes me all of the sads. Oh, okay, so we're using those, uh, those carts to, uh, to get around in here. This should definitely make for an interesting dungeon. But for now, let's just focus on getting this stuff done and not getting attacked by enemies. And we can't go in there. That sucks. So we now have to go all the way around. Or can we? I don't really remember there any being any doorway, but I could be wrong. Considering that I have been a lot in this LP, and that door automatically closed as soon as I came in. That is so nice of it, and... No, we can't do anything there either. I don't want to grow, I want to figure out how we can get through here. Yeah, I can't even get on the railroad tracks. Okay, so that means we have to do something over here. And, of course, I don't notice that door ever. And, of course, we gotta grow back. And possibly hear my door- I Oh my god! Oh my, it looks really, really odd in that lava. Trust me. Falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. What if I'm a pyro? What if I have a flame suit? Oh my god. Since I know for a fact we don't have enough time to get those pots and back, we can always just suck it. Dang it, I just realized that's what I could have called the episode where I get the gust jar. Whatever. Oh, now we have to be predict- now we have to be- we have to do a little practicality. Oh my god. Fire I can I can turn out the fire. I think I just figured out what our puzzle is. Oopsies. Sorry. And I just totally killed that guy. And I killed that guy too.
I'm gonna go and assume that counts as drowning, guys, so... Yeah. You got 50 rupees, you must be so happy. Surprise, surprise, I can't get this puzzle done anymore. I have to reset the room. Also, we've hit our maximum amount of rupees, and that makes me all of the sads. Get across. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Reset the room. Back over here. That's my only real gripe with the Zelda games, is where if you mess up a puzzle, you basically have to re-enter the room and start over again in most cases. And that's, that's a minor complaint, but it does get annoying after a while. I will tell you that. It can get really, really frustrating when you're almost done with the puzzle and you can't complete it anymore and you have to start over again. Oh, we have to think of craftiness here. Okay, fly across. And I've now screwed myself over into the lava. No, I haven't. Well, I definitely have screwed myself into that. Oh, okay, so we can't fly over that wall. You know, since that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Oh my god, no! 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 Okay, at least we can start back over here. What the heck? Oh my, what? Okay, I don't understand, but whatever. Okay, we're back in the shrinky-doo room, so... What did that accomplish? I mean, I can't think it accomplished anything, honestly. Let's see, what are we doing there? We didn't even get a key, so... Did we maybe miss something? That's really all I can think of. We we might have missed a key in that room. And it might have something to do with the fact that that treasure chest was on a um, pedestal. So now we might have to go back and get that pedestal. Because there wasn't anything over there that we could use. Also, just so you guys know, it is really, really hot where I'm recording. And because I've been at this for about an hour and a half now, I am probably on the verge of sweating. You are, guys are quite welcome for that bit of information. I did not realize I was supposed to do that. I forgot about that chest. My bad. Not that it really makes a difference, so I'm about to die anyway. Air growth formula, please. At least now I know I can set that fire away. Well, that's really helpful, actually. And we got a dungeon map. Lighter rooms are ones you visited. The blinking room is your location. Press up or down to check different floors. Thank you for that. If I didn't play a Zelda game before, I probably wouldn't have known that. You guys know that wasn't my joke. Please don't. I just lost five rupees. Whatever. Uh, please don't say that I created that joke. I did not. That is not my joke. I was simply quoting somebody and uh, paraphrase it a bit. I think that's still plagiarism in some countries. Whatever. 
Anyway, and I have to do this puzzle again. That is seriously like a... That's a, that's a, that's a Zelda world problem. If you left the room, you have to do the puzzle again. Man, would it suck to actually complete, like, you know, a 1,000 piece puzzle and then leave your room? You can obviously do something with that chest. Because it reset now. Oh, yes, we can do something with it. Herpy derp. Yeah, you guys know what I'm doing here, huh? You guys are quite smart. And we finally got our small key. Which, of course, we can only use in this dungeon. Which leads us all the way back to over here. For more information you didn't want to know, I really need to go pee right now. I, I really need to go. It, it's not even funny how badly I need to go. I probably should have gone before I started recording, but whatever. What's done is done. Okay, I gotta stand on these railroad trucks. Okay, so I gotta activate this. By swinging it, no less. And we're going to get on a on a cart, which is not like a train. And I missed out on that heart piece again. Good grief. So obviously we can't do anything with this at the moment. But we can fall into the lava here, so it's quite dangerous. I think this leads us to the other room. Yes it is, so now we can take our heart piece. We are halfway done from getting more life energy. And accidental bombing again. I guess you could say it's premature, but eh. Let's not make a dirty joke. Okay. Mini boss fight. Oh my god, this is this is not good. This is like this is this is literally choo choo rape. I'm not kidding. This is a lot of choo choos. And considering they're the spiky ones doesn't make anything. One man enters, one man leaves. Hurry! And we get our key item. Or our temple of the item, if you will. We got the cane of Patchy. Patchy? This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Oh my god, can I use this on a table? Please? Please let me use this on a table. Then again, real men don't need to use table, don't need rods to flip their tables. Anyway, we can use the uh, cane of Pachi. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god. That is pretty dang sweet. We just defied the laws of physics. Also, blue teleporter. All right, we can push this into the hole, get another small key, ride the crazy cart. down here. Take this teleporter. Which take us to the beginning of the dungeon. Which lets us know we are halfway through. Wait a second. If that flips things over, 
Couldn't we reverse the door? No, we couldn't. What am I talking about? However, though, now that we are on the second... What floor is this? Now that we are on B2, and we have quite a bit left on the um, level, I suppose that we should probably call it an episode for Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I hope to see you next week. Hopefully, is the keyword. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.